Okay, let's discuss about an autoimmune disorder called as venous granulomatosis. And this venous granulomatosis, it is uh, it is equally occurs in males and females. And age is the greater than 40 years of age. And in this condition, necrotizing vasculitis is seen. And in the case of blood vessels, we see fibroid necrosis will be seen. And it is a granulomatous condition. Hence the name venous granulomatosis. And uh, what, and the, in this condition, the features will be uh, most commonly localized into the upper airway, lower airways and also kidneys. And these are the, and that is the airway and also kidneys are the two organs which mostly affected in this condition. And upper airway symptoms, what are the upper airway symptoms like uh, chronic sinusitis or serious otitis media and also recurrent epistaxis and these are the symptoms of upper airway. And what are the lower airway symptoms like uh, hemoptysis? and diffuse alveolar hemorrhage will be seen and cavity on the nodules are seen and the presence of cavity and nodules main point towards the venous granulomatosis and also kidney involvement in this condition we often see rapidly progressing glomerular nephritis type 3 so rpg and type 3 which is positive that is venous granulomatosis will be seen in this condition we see rpg and type 3 and on histology of the kidney uh, on histology we find crescents will be seen so, on all these features will point towards the venous granulomatosis and the HLA association seen in this condition is the HLA DRB103 is the main HLA association seen in case of venous granulomatosis and also the autoantibodies which are seen in this condition are the autoantibodies directed towards the myeloperoxidase MPO and also autoantibodies directed towards the proteinase 3 of the cell membrane. And these are the antibodies which are implicated in case of venous granulomatosis. And what are the minor manifestations seen in venous granulomatosis are the minor manifestations like episcleritis and uh, symmetrical uh, small fiber, sensory and motor involvement, and also a glove and stocking type of deform, a glove and stocking type of uh, distribution. And the disease progression occurs from the distal to proximal. And all these are minor manifestations. Other man minor manifestations like cutaneous manifestations like petechiae, purpura, vesicle, bulla, and also superficial ulcers. And all these these are all the minor manifestation manifestations seen in the, in this condition. And what are the investigations that help us in the diagnosis are the and investigations mainly include indirect immunofluorescence. We often see cytoplasmic pattern of antinuclear ANCA that is C anka is seen. And also most specific test will be the ELISA test and as already said antibodies involved are the proteinase C against antibodies and these high titers of antibodies will also be found and all this help in the diagnosis and the treatment coming to the treatment and the treatment which help in this condition is the steroids are found to be the mainstay of treatment and the types of steroids that is uh, methylprednisolone will be helpful and if it is failed cyclophosphate can be tried. And the treatment mainly uh, will be taken in two phases that is induction phase and also maintenance phase and if the patient does not uh, re uh, does not respond to the cyclophosphate then the drug like uh, erythrociximab which is CD20 anti-antibody can also be tried. And all these uh, and this is all about the clinical features and the histological uh, findings and also autoantibodies regarding the venous granulomatosis which is also an autoimmune disorder. And thank you for watching.